Well, let's head back out to Marty at Heavy Seas. So, Marty, you getting your fill of uh, some brew this morning yet? Not yet. It's a little bit too early to pop a can, but later on, <laughs> it might be on the calendar. We can make that happen. <laughs> We're sitting here with, with one of the great uh, beer makers in the uh, in the history of Baltimore, Maryland. We're both drinking coffee. <laughs> you, know, you know, there's time. To, it, 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 I know. I know it's five o'clock somewhere. I don't even have a tattoo to prove it, but. In the words of Hank Williams, Jr., me and my rowdy friends done rowdied on down. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Sisson joins us again, and I wasn't kidding before the break. You are in Baltimore beer history. This is a big brewery here in Hailthorpe, Holland's Ferry Road. We're in the tap room in the front part of the brewery. Mm -hmm. uh, you were just telling me how much beer you produce a year. Uh, probably around a little over half a million cases a year. I mean, I want you to think about that. 500,000 cases a year. So you think that would be enough, but now you guys are coming out with craft cocktails. Yep. Why? Uh, well, because the, 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 beer industry, the beer industry is morphing. The consumer uh, interests are morphing. You have to diversify what you're doing. Um, you know, we had the big, the big wave of seltzers, and that's sort of now subsiding a little bit. So now the crafted cocktails are coming up. Uh, we just felt that this was an opportunity for us to welcome people who maybe aren't beer drinkers into our brand family, and it's a local product, so I just thought it was a win-win. I have a friend who owns a large restaurant and bar out in Missouri, and he told me in 2019 that beer is, was 49% of his bar sales, if you want to look at it, beer sales, right. and that seltzer was 51, that it had, the lines had crossed. Wow. So, so people are now... People are definitely drinking less beer and more other products. Beer has lost share for 15 years to, to predominantly spirits. Why is that? I just think it's 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 you know the younger generation is is moving in a different direction. So we need to stay relevant. And you're staying very relevant. We only got about 20 seconds to talk more about this next half hour. Four flavors. What are they? Uh, we have orange crush and watermelon crush, and they're both available as standalone products. And then we have a cherry limeade and a strawberry lemonade, which appear in a variety pack. The Crush, one of the great local drinks in the history of the United States. It's now going coast to coast, and you guys are making it part of your brand. That's pretty cool, all oh, local. We're all psyched about it, for sure, and it's getting a pretty good response so far. Well, you know what? We may have to try. Later on, we may have to try. <laughs> that coffee's calling my name right now. We're <laughs> going to go back to TV Hill. We'll join you again next half hour. We're going inside Heavy Seas. You gotta love a success story. Back to you. All right, Marty. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. So now this time of morning, if we did Virgin Orange Crushes, what would it be? Orange juice and maybe Sprite. I don't Ginger know. Ginger ale. We'd have to get creative, but I want it. <laughs> we'll figure that it out. So good. <laughs>